to get the spotlight now on the banking space, the Q1 business updates that have come through uh, for several banks, right? We have Vishal Goel, who is the head of India Research and Banks Analyst at uh, UBS Securities joining us now. Uh, Vishal, always great speaking to you. Thanks a lot for joining in. You know, there were a whole host of banks that came out with numbers. So let me ask you, what was the pick of the pack for you? Where have you seen the strongest growth? And, uh, you know, what do you see as the way forward? Hi, Sanalia. Thanks. Uh, see, I think this quarter is seasonally weak quarter, right? Uh, as we have seen in past as well. Uh, typically, you see a decline in loan growth, uh, especially even gross absolute advances typically decline in this quarter because you see a lot of uh, March effect in, in the balance sheets uh, of banks as well. Uh, therefore, I think we are not surprised by the decline in the data uh, in the June quarter. Yes, if you look at the trends among players, it is still very mixed. Most of the players are showing decline in uh, in, in in the numbers on a QOQ basis. So, for example, even PSU banks actually have mixed uh, kind of trends. Some banks are still seeing growth, but most other banks are showing even YOY trends are now slowing. You know, like for some of them, it's going to like to high single digits on growth. Uh, and and I think the whole loan to deposit ratio uh, issue, which is pressing banks to maybe slow down a bit. Plus, uh, if if you all remember last year, RBI you know uh, tightened the unsecured lending as well. So I think all that is now slowly reflecting, but a lot of it is seasonal in in my my view. A lot of it is seasonal. Okay, uh, just one follow-up there then. You know, some of these banks, larger banks like Indus and Bank, right? The loan growth has been the weakest in the nine quarters if you look at it. Um, I mean, quarter-on-quarter quarter deposit growth barely about four-odd percent. Uh, for investors who perhaps have these stocks, what is the view now? Are you cautious on the stocks? Or do you think this is just, you know, a temporary uh, slowdown that we're looking at and one shouldn't be too concerned? Yeah, so I think, see, I'll, I'll avoid uh, stock-specific comments, but uh, I, I get what you're trying to ask. If you look at in the light of valuations and underperformance, which banks actually have been, you know, doing, uh, there is reasonable valuation in this space. But it's like we've been, we're going through a very benign period, right, in terms of asset quality, uh, as, you know, you, you recall, maybe in 2003 to 2008 uh, that kind of period we are right now enjoying as you know banking system credit costs are below all historical you know averages or even closer to bottom actually so to that extent i think there would be some uh, deterioration in the metrics which is what we've been also highlighting that credit cost would start inching up for the entire system banks which are exposed to certain segments like microfinance, which is currently showing slightly early stress compared to other segments, would have credit costs coming to them before others. Second, I think net interest margins also have seen a decent rally uh, in the last two, three years. A uh, lot of it is because of you know external benchmark lending rate, uh, floating rate book, which got repriced, while the CASA ratio has only gone down. So we would see some moderation in NIM uh, and continue to see that when the rate cuts really happen, uh, that's where we will see more NIM contraction for the system as a whole. To that extent, I think if you look at ROA trajectory, uh, we are we are estimating you know it to go down for almost everyone, but that does not make the system uninvestable. I think so. They will have to be more selective about what we are buying, especially in the light of underperformance and, and reasonable valuation, there are opportunities. Okay, all right. Hi, Vishal. Good morning and good to see you, Ben. Nigel on this side. I'm looking at the PSU banking names. You know, Bob is almost at your target price, while uh, SBI, I think you have a sell rating out there. But besides the fundamentals, you know, the street is, is uh, speculating that maybe that stake sale that SBI has in Yes Bank could be coming to the market. If that happens, how does this change things? At current reckoning, at current price, it's around 20,000 crores odd. So how does it change things for SPI? Yeah, I um, Again, I think maybe I'll, I'll give you a more segmental you know, view of, of us. Now, I think all this near-term 
टेक सेल्स और मोनिटाइजेशन ऑफ प्रॉफिट दे ऑल हेल्प कैपिटल रेशियो मार्केट इज आई थिंक ऑलरेडी वेरी वेरी एनकरेजिंग इन टर्म्स ऑफ रेजिंग कैपिटल सो इट्स नॉट वी आर नॉट इन अ पीरियड वेर 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 बैंक कान गेट यू नो कैपिटल फ्रॉम द एक्सटर्नल इन्वेस्टर्स सो सो इट जस्ट आई थिंक हेल्प इन द नियर टर्म to delay any potential capital raise for any bank actually whoever is doing monetization beyond that i think as i was explaining that we are we have to realize that we are in a very benign asset quality environment overall but things can't get any better from here in terms of credit cost and right. that's the risk we we would want to keep highlighting that we have to start looking at players who are very good at underwriting uh and therefore they can outperform on credit cost uh, you know as we enter into uh, at least increasing delinquency i i can say just okay all right and you're leaning more towards i think the private banks in comparison to the psu just going by the target price and the ratings that you have out there hdfc bank that's the big one you know because of the technical factor the stock has seen a fair bit of a rub up now in fact you know that news is mostly in the price and in august we'll see that rejig that takes place a few billion dollars will come in but what's your view on hdfc bank post this this update that they gave out the street is a little bit concerned about the cd ratio still remaining at elevated levels and if they go to you know get that in line it could have an impact on credit growth uh, what kind of growth numbers are you factoring in and do you believe that's at risk and it's like sorry i'll not be able to comment stock specific uh, as, as i was explaining we are not allowed to do that uh, i think the way to think about the entire banking system and private space uh, one look at the underperformance of bank nifty and 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 if you look at what is in the price also so that is i think uh, one thing to to look at mm-hmm. second uh, sustainability of returns uh in indian context which is you know still room to penetrate and we have a a healthy nominal gdp trajectory so i think if i put all these three together uh i feel that private banking space is you know very interesting from a long term investing point of view uh in the near term in 3 months 6 months uh you would see you know technical factors also taking over you would see the quarterly uh, clearly impacting uh, you know the the valuations but i am like i i think i would look at more medium term uh you know trends and and potential to to generate roe and and compounding you know uh, vishal will uh, chat more but uh, great to speak with you we'll speak once again once we have the sort of you know all the results etc in the bag and then we can get a full comprehensive uh, picture and take from you thank you for joining us uh, this uh, morning we've got